Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we're going to do another review, however this time it is time for the first movie review. If you have missed our previous reviews, you can find a link to them in the top right corner right now. Now for this episode, we're going to do a movie review about Peikari Dil, one of the most discussed Kurdish movies at the moment. Now if there is any movie, music or book you want us to review or react on, let us know in the comment section below. Also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification button so that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Be sure that you pay a visit to our Instagram channel where we post regular pictures of Kurdistan and the Kurdish people and update you on this channel. From Instagram you can also be directly active on which documentary we will do next, so don't miss out to follow us there. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Peykeri Dil, internationally known as the Heart Sculpture, is directed by the Kurdish actor and director Shwan Atuf, which you probably recognize from the famous Kurdish series of Gerdelul, which took everybody's breath away a decade ago. Now, Shwan, who more recently have worked with his producing skills, comes with Peykeri Dil, a love story starring great Kurdish singer Holwest, the love of his life Kawiyar played by Narin Alan and the all-known antagonist Sherzad played by Nizar Salami. The plot handles the love story between the two main characters Halwest and Kawiyar who grows up as neighbors and evolves a love between each other. Halwest has two friends Sherzad and Hiwa whereas the later one is played by the famous comedian Reshan Hemo. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description box below so don't miss to check that out. However, Sherzad evolves some kind of jealousy towards Halwest, and when he finds out about his secret love, he exposes it to Kawiyar's father, who is very protective of his daughter, but even more of his reputation. He really wants his daughter to marry someone successful and rich. This is where the movie introduced the very important problem of honor that I often talk about in this channel. The main conflict is introduced. Will Halwest and Kawiyar find their love in the end? I really enjoyed the movie, I felt that it had a little bit of everything. Love was introduced by Halwest and Kawiyar, comedy was introduced by Hiwa, jealousy and conflict was introduced by Sherzad and honor violence by Kawiyar's father. This perfect split of everything makes the video enjoyable for everyone, no matter which kind of movie you prefer. A special great ovation pointed towards Nizar Salami which makes an extraordinary performance as the movie's antagonist. We previously know Nizar from being the main character in the movie Jani Gel and the series of Memuzin, and another time Nizar makes a spectacular job in his acting performance. Another great act of the movie is that you can follow the main character Halwest and his real songs which get their own commercial throughout the movie. Even though Holwest already was a great singer that I've heard about, the movie made me adding several of his songs into my Spotify list and of course I'll put that link in the description box below. Now even though I usually don't like musicals, I believe that this movie had the perfect mix of music and story so that it doesn't feel unnatural and so that you don't watch the movie as if it was a musical. However, I'm not sure if it was the purpose of the movie or not. Now, I really have searched on the net to find out whether if this story is based on any true story, either Hallway's own story or somebody else, but couldn't find any information about that. If you know anything about it, make sure you comment in the video and let me know. Now, I did read some of the reviews on EMDB where the movie got total point of 7.7 .7 out of 10 and the most critics is about the cringy dialogues and the safe choice of romance which seemed to be a popular move for Kurdish films. However, I don't really agree to this since the Kurdish language is a very poetic language. You can't compare what is seen as cringy in the West with how a dialogue is being held in Kurdistan because believe it or not, it's a big difference with how people dialogue with each other in the two. Further on, I do agree on that romantic movies is a bit typical for Kurdish films and that it was a safe choice of movie type. However, this doesn't mean that the movie type of romance should be stopped from being produced. 
just because it is popular. On the contrary, that's a great reason for keeping on doing this, and in this question I am very split. Overall, I think I agree with the EMDB average rating and my personal points of this movie is a total of 8 out of 10, a great movie with a great purpose to share to the audience. I feel hopeful for Shwan Atuf's great producing works. Now we will link all the links in the description box below to Shwan Atuf's website, to Pekari Dill's website, to Pekari Dill's official trailer so be sure to check that out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and keep a look out next Sunday for the next video. Meanwhile, I'll see you on our other social medias.